Hi students, today we are going to see few MCQs regarding brainstem structures. Number one is medulla. Look at the specimen. So many MCQs are here. This is called, this part is called medulla. This is the entire brainstem. This is midbrain, this is pons and this is medulla oblongata. In the medulla, you will be having some bulges over here. This is called pyramid and the next bulge is called olive. Next lateral to that, you have a peduncle called inferior cerebellar peduncle. It connects the medulla to the cerebellum, right? So number one MCQ is here is called as andromedian fissure, and this is called androlateral fissure between the pyramid and the olive. And next comes between the olive to the inferior cerebellar peduncle. Between these two, there is a posterolateral sulcus. So in the between the pyramid and olive, the androlateral sulcus nerves emerging out through the androlateral sulcus. That is MCQ. That is your hypoglossal nerve, rootlets of hypoglossal nerve. And nerves emerging through the or between the olive and the uh, inferior cerebellar pedangle. That is posterolateral sulcus. So nerves emerging through the posterolateral sulcus are rootlets of 9th, 10th and cranial root of accessory. Okay, three nerves will be coming out. These are the MCQs present here. Next one is the six marked place six is pyramid. So the pyramid is formed by the underlying pyramidal tract and then uh, seven is olive olive is formed by the underlying inferior olivary nucleus and this junction is called as pontomedullary junction the nerves emerging out through the pontomedullary junction are so usually students should know 9 10 11 12 cranial nerve nucleus are situated in the medulla 5 6 7 8 cranial nerve nucleus are situated in the pons and 3 and 4 cranial nerve nucleus are situated in the midbrain and 1 and 2 are in the cerebrum like that you should remember first and then second thing uh, this is a junction called pontomedullary junction through that you will be having 6th nerve, 7th nerve and 8th nerve all these 3 nerves are emerging out this is the junction with the cerebellum here that is called cerebellopontine angle here you will be having exactly 8th nerve so cerebellopontine angle tumor compresses the 8th nerve coming out here right next now see the questions now emerging from the anterolateral sulcus you try to answer the question nerves emerging from the posterolateral sulcus and olive is formed by what and medial part of the medulla this area of the medulla is supplied by what and the lateral portion of the medulla is supplied by what lateral portion of the medulla you will be having the cerebellar pedangle so obviously it is supplied by the pica artery otherwise called as posterior inferior cerebellar artery right and this part is continuous above with the spinal cord so it is supplied by the anterior spinal artery so the medial portion of the medulla oblongata is supplied by anterior spinal artery and the lateral portion is supplied by the pica artery that's why if the pica artery posterior inferior cerebellar artery is blocked or thrombosed it is called as pica syndrome wallenberg syndrome or lateral medullary syndrome understood the components we will see later and uh, inferior cerebellar pedangle connects this med medulla to the cerebellum nerves emerging through the pontomedullary junction just now i said you try to recollect and then this is the posterior aspect of the medulla oblongata here you see there are some tubercles present here this medial one is called gracile tubercle and the lateral one is called cuneate tubercle gracile tubercle is can you see this fascicle is called fasciculus gracilis and this is called fasciculus cuneatus underlying that you have a bulge called nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus this carries the posterior column or dorsal column dorsal column carries conscious proprioception like position sense joint sense vibration and two point discrimination stereognosis all these stuffs okay all these things are going via the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus is underlying this tubercle tubercle means there is elevation meaning that you will be having the tubercle next one is uh, you just see that this is the fourth ventricle floor of the fourth ventricle in the floor of the fourth ventricle you will be having uh, the part lower part of the floor is formed by medulla and the upper part of the floor is formed by pons okay the lower part you will be having something is crossing over here that is called as triamedullaris okay this triamedullaris is formed by the arcuate nucleus there is a nucleus by the name arcuate nucleus that is the detached portion of the pontine nucleus from there from the arcuate nucleus you will be having anterior external arcuate fibers they come 
through the median sulcus and come out as stria medullaris okay anterior external arcuate fibers it goes via the inferior cerebellar peduncle to the peduncle right this is about the stria medullaris and here you will be having the triangle outside i said vestibular triangle is common for both pons as well as the medulla so vestibular nucleus shares both the pons as well as the medulla and the next number two is the hypoglossal nucleus and the third is the vagal nucleus here and this is hypoglossal triangle and here it is vagal triangle and then down this area is called as calamus cryptorius okay like a pen and then here in the pons we'll see the next thing what is the bulge present in the pons that is your facial colliculus this is very important that we'll see in the next week next part okay gracile tubercle cuneate tubercle all the students should know gracile uh, tubercle is for the nucleus gracilis and uh, nucleus cuneatus are underlying that they carry conscious proprioception repeatedly i am telling it carries conscious proprioception and inferior cerebellar peduncle we should talk something about the inferior cerebellar peduncle the inferior cerebellar peduncle carries what are the sensations what are the tracts are going via the inferior cerebellar peduncle olive is there so first tract is olivo cerebellar second there is a tract by the name reticular activating there is a nucleus called reticular activating system which keeps you awake that is present all over the pons and medulla so reticulo cerebellar fibers two number three spinal cord to cerebellum spino cerebellar fibers that two posterior spino cerebellar and cuneo cerebellar posterior spino cerebellar is going via the inferior cerebellar peduncle as well as cuneo cerebellar is also going via the inferior cerebellar peduncle but only the anterior spino cerebellar would go via the superior cerebellar peduncle which connects the midbrain to the cerebellum right superior cerebellar peduncle and number one more thing spino cerebellar tracts three are there one is posterior spino cerebellar anterior spino cerebellar cuneo cerebellar and the posterior spino cerebellar uh, takes the sensation unconscious proprioception from the lower part of the body, trunk as well as the lower limbs and uh, upper part of the trunk is carried by the anterior spinal cerebellar and from the upper limbs the sensations are going via the cuneo cerebellar so cuneo cerebellar takes the sensation from the upper limb that is mainly the nucleus is called accessory cuneate nucleus understood so cuneo cerebellar tract originates from accessory cuneate nucleus uh, and then next is medulla look at the medulla we have three sections in the medulla one is called pyramidal decussation this section shows the pyramidal fibers why it is called pyramidal fibers because the corticospinal tract arises from the giant pyramidal cells present in the cerebral cortex so this is called pyramidal fibers okay number one so this is pyramidal decussation number two here i said i showed something called as nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus beneath this this nucleus gracilis and cuneatus look at this nucleus gracilis and cuneatus the proprioceptive fibers goes and here is the second order neuron from here it comes out and decussates and forms the decussates means crossing over so it forms internal arcuate fibers so nucleus gracilis and cuneatus the fibers decussate and forms the internal arcuate fibers this internal arcuate fibers continues up as medial lemonisca this is the mcq so internal arcuate fibers continues as medial lemonisca this is called nucleus gracilis and this is called nucleus cuneatus already we showed this is the pyramid uh, this is formed by the corticospinal fibers right so we know the pyramid we know the internal arcuate fibers so uh, motor decussation and sensory decussation we know so this is the motor decussation this is sensory decussation and the third level is here you can see the section at the level of olive so here you can draw the pyramid and lower part you, i have already told you what is arcuate nucleus arcuate nucleus is a detached portion of the pontine nucleus mcq from the arcuate nucleus the fibers arising are called anterior external arcuate fibers they go behind and forms the stria medullaris this is the mcq number two pyramid already you have told corticospinal tract only it is called as pyramidal tract and number three olive olive is formed by the inferior olivary nucleus and here is the medial longitudinal fasciculus medial longitudinal fasciculus is nothing but if somebody calls you by your name you will be turning and you will be turning your neck and then you will be hearing the sound and then um, your eyeball is rolling here and there so third nerve fourth nerve sixth nerve for eyeball rolling and hearing eighth nerve and turning your neck 
11th nerve spinal axillary so all these nerves are interconnected by the tract called medial longitudinal fasciculus and something is called as medial lemonisci just now i said internal arcuate fibers they decussate and forms the medial lemonisci the internal arcuate fibers carries conscious proprioception it means posterior column fibers understood check the spinal cord video for what is called posterior column in the spinal cord so this in the midline and here you have the midline nucleus hypoglossal nucleus so the nerve fibers will be coming out like this next here you will be having the important if the here is 12th now so what are the nerves are left out 9 10 11 so 9 10 11 nerves together it is called as nucleus ambiguous from there only the muscles of pharynx and muscles of larynx supply goes from here and then you have separate uh, uh, nucleus for dorsal nucleus for vagus and something called as nucleus tractus solitarius so what is nucleus tractus solitarius is uh, tongue it gets its supply from anterior two third of the tongue gets its supply from the facial component cauda tympani and the posterior one third of the tongue gets its supply from the glossopharyngeal and posterior most from the vagus can you number the numbers can you tell me the numbers of the cranial nerves seven facial nerve is seven and the glossopharyngeal is 9 and the vagus is 10 so 7 9 10 take the taste sensation from the tongue that reaches the nucleus tractus solitarius so nucleus tractus solitarius means 7th nerve 9th nerve and 10th nerve nucleus ambiguous means 9th 10th and 11th okay together it is called as nucleus ambiguous and then here you will be having other tracts i don't want to mention about other tracts and then you should know about sympathetic pathway it comes from the hypothalamus towards the uh, brain stem which is going to the spinal cord so it go it also goes via this so in this part is supplied by medial part is supplied by anterior spinal artery this lateral component is supplied by the uh, pike artery posterior inferior cerebellar artery here you should not forget to draw the spinal nucleus and spinal tract of trigeminal and the vestibular nucleus these two are very important understood the spinal nucleus and the vestibular nucleus and then now medial medullary syndrome means it involves the hypothalamus uh, hypoglossal nerve nucleus and the medial lemonisci and the pyramid these three structures are involved in the medial medullary syndrome and then in the lateral medullary syndrome the cerebellum inferior cerebellar pedangle is involved so you will be getting ataxia and then vestibular nucleus is involved so uh, equilibrium is lost and the number three hype uh, ninth tenth lane 11th cranial nerves are lost but nucleus ambiguous is lost so you will be getting dysphagia and difficulty in breathing all the stuff and then uh, nucleus tractus solitarius is out so you will not be getting taste in the tongue and then uh, next is sympathetic fibers are out so you will be getting Horner syndrome so all these components are in, uh, lateral medullary syndrome components that is Wallenberg syndrome understood so that's all about the medulla important MCQs regarding the medulla so don't forget the arcuate nucleus don't forget the pyramid and medial lemonisca is conscious proprioception and then lateral spinothalamic tract carries the pain and temperature of the opposite side of the body and the nucleus ambiguous 9 10 11 cranial nerves nucleus tractus solitarius 7 uh, 9 7 9 and 10 okay that's all about the medulla next video we'll see the points